Hare Krishna. Kartikeya 2 versus PK. Logic done right and wrong in understanding religion and spirituality. Recently, the Kartikeya movie, which has become quite popular, depicts a skeptic's journey to appreciation with respect to in India's tradition, specifically centered on Krishna and not just his divinity, but his historicity, his wisdom, his multifaceted expertise. In contrast, PK depicts an alien who comes to earth and is skeptical about the various religious practices of people on the earth. While PK seems to be critical of all religions, it is the Hindu religion that is singled out for the most scathing criticism. With respect to Islam, all that is depicted is that he takes some wine inside the mosque to offer to offer to God there and he is driven out. So that only shows his insensitivity, not the that religion in the bad light. And Christianity is shown to to <clears throat> that they are using money to convert people. But beyond that, it is the Vedic tradition, the deity worship that is mocked. The religious teachers who are portrayed as hypocritical and exploitative and self-serving. And all the rituals are portrayed as irrational expressions of uh, blind faith. Yes, superstitions and blind faith can creep into any tradition. But the singular criticism directed towards Hinduism is an example of logic being used to serve an agenda. And even then, actually, it pretends to be logical, but it doesn't, it isn't logical. So, for example, one key theme in the romance associated with PK is that uh, the right-wing Hindus who are influenced by religious leaders, they are all bigoted and they see all Muslims as bad. And that's why the Hindu religious leader tells this girl that, you know, that Muslim boy betrayed you and that's how Muslims are. And then it turns out that there's been a misunderstanding and she was not betrayed by that boy. So the message is that don't generalize all people in one category. Uh, well, that's a valid message. But then what does PK itself do? While saying that we shouldn't generalize, it generalizes about holy men and those who follow the holy, holy teachers and those who follow the holy teachers. It depicts all holy teachers as bad and it depicts all the followers of such holy teachers. And again, only from the Vedic tradition it depicts this way. All these people as gullible. So why generalize over there? Couldn't it have depicted at least one thoughtful uh, religious teacher within the Hindu tradition? Couldn't it have depicted one thoughtful follower? Is it that among the billions of millions and billions of people who follow, is it only PK and alien has a monopoly over logic and intelligence? In contrast, what we see in Kartikeya is that yes, the Protagonist, the hero, Kartikeya, begins as a skeptic, but then he meets his uh, thoughtful professors uh, who, uh, who actually points out the wisdom, the glory of the tradition uh, from which the modern Indian civilization has emerged. And he gets appreciation through that, through both such encounters with people and experiences, some, many of them extraordinary, some of them uh, mystical. But the point is, Logic leads one towards appreciation, not rejection. And in general, if we consider the, we could come and compare the philosophy and the rash, rational wisdom that is there in, uh, in the Indian tradition, that is like science or more pure science, theoretical science. And 
the culture and the religious practices and what is negatively sometimes called as rituals all that is like technology most people who use technology they use it because it benefits them but they don't really always know how it works so if somebody uses the internet how many people who use the internet actually know how the internet works how many people who use a mobile know how the semiconductor technology works and just because they don't know how it works does it mean that the whole technology is bogus oh, so, so, so culture is like that philosophy and culture are like science and technology many people who follow culture may not necessarily know the exact reasons why that culture is being followed but the point is that uh, there are people who know and is those people who need to be asked just like how internet works how semiconductor technology works that is something which you have to ask scientists so there are spiritual teachers there are holy wise people leaders who can answer those questions and it is that balanced approach that is missing in pk and that is required for it is shown in kartike that is what is required if we are genuine in our search for knowledge uh, otherwise it is not a search for knowledge it is it is actually logic used to serve an agenda and the last point is is there is an element of faith in every tradition even in science there is an element of faith for that matter because when science proposes a particular theory it has only a finite amount of evidence and future observations may turn up, may prove that theory to be not valid or at, if not invalid at least incomplete so just as faith is required in every area of life faith is required in in the domain of religion and spirituality also now among the various religious traditions of the world reason is it is in complements faith and reason is especially emphasized in the vedic tradition in the vedic tradition there are no commandments do this and don't do this there are instructions but there are no central commandments actually if there is any commandment that is to athato brahma jigyasa inquire ask questions the upanishads are all filled with questions even the puranas which may not be uh, meant for people with that high intellectual portion even they are filled with question and answers the central book of the broad uh, indic tradition or the hindu tradition bhagavad gita is a book of question and answers and even when god krishna gives some answer that doesn't make sense arjuna doesn't hesitate to ask questions so the logic is very much recognized valued and utilized in the search for reality in the search for understanding that as is characterized in the vedic tradition and that is to be portrayed properly so in terms of the entertainment value yes entertainers can create various stories to entertain but when they are drawing stories which are depicting things that are highly respected or venerated in a particular tradition then it is their responsibility to portray those things accurately otherwise they are not helping people understand they are only serving their own agenda and sometimes propagating misunderstanding so it is again encouraging to see that logic is being used constructively in movies like kartikeya and for those who seek to use logic to gain deeper understanding in religion and spirituality the vedic tradition offers abundant resources for furthering their search by answering questions logically and reasonably we just need to find the right teachers who can explain that wisdom to us in a way that is logical rational intelligible and transformational thank you hare krishna